hermit crab tank. It set all of this up, and this tank looks so nice. back to the channel everyone so today's video we're gonna go ahead and set up a hermit crab tank and not only a hermit crab tank but a proper hermit crab tank okay because hermit crabs don't belong in this little tiny plastic container with a little water bowl a little sponge some substrate and then those little pellets that they sell you at the pet store now a little bit of a backstory right here tomorrow i am actually leaving to go on vacation for six days on a beach now I went to this beach a year ago for two days and I remember seeing hermit crabs. They were selling hermit crabs in like two or three stores and this is very common for beaches in America. Um, for some reason they just think that it's okay to take wild hermit crabs, stuff them into these painted shells, sell them to people without giving them any sort of information, at least proper information at the very least, and send them on their way on vacation with a hermit crab that is not gonna live long at all because it is not taken care of properly. So because I remembered that they have hermit crabs at this beach, I decided, you know what, I have an empty 10 gallon right here. And actually you can go ahead and pick one of these up at Petco right now for only $10. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just save some hermit crabs. So I did a bunch of research, like a bunch of research, which always do research on animals before you purchase them. Like always just please do it. But I did a bunch of research, got a bunch of stuff that they need, all of the proper, all of the proper stuff to set up their tank. And so I know about the animal so I can care for it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Let me go ahead and send you guys back to the last two days where I picked up different things for this tank. Now this isn't everything I need. I do have to go to the store again today, but you guys will see the rest of the stuff when I actually save the hermit crabs in a video coming within the next week. And in that video, I'll be getting multiple hermit crabs. I'll also show you what they sell me the hermit crabs in and the living conditions that they're put in at these beach stores. So uh, let me go ahead and throw you back to the last few days. We definitely need a few things from here, so let's pack out some stuff and uh, get it. Now we don't need this though because I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys when we get back. Huh? Hermit crab cakes? Nah, man. That does not look like the cake that I eat. Not at all. All right, so we're gonna get one of these. Gonna get one of these. And let's get two of these. <laughs> All right, so this is everything that I bought right here. So let's go ahead and just set up the tank. Let's get started. I apologize, my face is gonna be like really red because it's really hot and uh, I'm gonna look like a tomato. So that's fun. All right, so first thing that you're going to need is a glass aquarium. Now, one thing I wasn't able to get was a screen top, but I will be getting that before putting them in here because if you have stuff for them to climb on, which they obviously need, uh, they can easily just escape. Now for substrate, and this is why you always have to ask if you can do a price match. So on Petco's website, if you guys go on Petco, you search Eco Earth, all right, that's the stuff, Eco Earth, they actually have the 24 quart bag for $11.99 and the 8 quart bag for $11.99. So this stuff, this bag, this 24 quart bag, usually go, goes for around $20. I got this whole bag for $11.99 at Pet Supermarket, Pet Supplies, plus whatever the heck it's called, some pet store, um, and they price matched it. So always ask if you can price match. Now to mix with the Eco Earth, you want sand, you can use play sand, anything that's natural doesn't have chemicals or dyes. Hermit crabs need both fresh water and salt water, and to use, to make the salt water, it's getting brighter in here. It's getting awkwardly brighter in here. <laughs> to make the salt water, this is the best brand. Um, I researched it, and this gets the right salinity for the hermit crabs, because the salt water actually helps maintain the salinity in their body. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna keep these dishes, but it depends on how what size the hermit crabs are. But I got these two small dishes. They're just small water bowls. Um, these were 98 cents at Walmart, but like I said, not sure I'm gonna keep them. Basically, the hermit crab just needs to be able to go into the water and submerge itself. Also, hermit crabs need extra shells in their tank. And now the paint on the shells that you're probably gonna buy on the hermit crab, do not try and remove your hermit crab from that shell. It can rip their body in half and it's just not good at all. So. Make sure you don't try and do that. Um, just provide them with extra shells, natural shells, um, without paint. And um, this way here, they're not toxic to them and they can pick their own shell. That's what they like to do. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that, you know with fish, how like live plants are better? Well, uh, hermit crabs will eat them. So artificial plants it is. I picked up two of these. These are 12 inches. They have suction cups on them. 
This is just to start, see how it looks, but I think this is gonna be pretty good. Um, it'll spread out pretty nicely. Now also that's the biggest thing with hermit crabs is being able to climb. That's how they play, that's how they keep busy um, and get exercise and everything. So they need stuff to climb on. The more stuff you have, the better. So some of the things I picked up for them to climb on, uh, just to start, are obviously the plants. I also got this, it's pretty large. Um, it's a lizard lounge. And this is made out of, I think like straw or something like that. Also got one of these vines, uh, it's a terrarium vine, it's six feet long. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna use all of this. I don't even know if I'm gonna actually use it. It depends once I set everything up, but um, yeah, got that. Um, but this is just a natural piece of wood, pretty easy for them to climb on. My favorite thing is this little ladder. So I have an idea to do with this ladder and this, if you can put two and two together, um, but I'm sure they're gonna love to climb on this. Um, plus these pegs are pretty small, so we should be able to use their claws and get up. That is everything. Let's go ahead and actually set up this tank. All right, so first thing we need is the tank. There's that. I'll leave some information down below on everything about hermit crabs. Next up, we gotta pour in our substrate, so we're gonna go ahead and mix Eco Earth right here with some sand. Once it's mixed together, gonna add a little bit of water, stir it all around, and it should be pretty much the consistency of something you would make a sand castle with. Let's do that. So this is what the substrate looks like. As you can see, it kind of looks a little wet, but it's not too wet. You definitely want, don't want your substrate drippy. You definitely want it to hold moisture, be kind of like a sand castle consistency. And uh, I will have a misting bottle that I will spray the substrate with probably before I get the hermit crabs in here because they probably will need a little bit more humidity. Now, hermit crabs require at least, at the very, very least, 70% humidity in their tank. Now, that is another thing I have to get is a little humidity reader because if they don't have at least 70%, they will suffocate because their gills aren't moist enough. So they need that humidity, otherwise they'll die. So that's just another thing. But now is the fun part where we get to set all of this up. So let's go ahead and roll the time lapse. All right, so this is only the first decoration, but as you guys can see, it's very sturdy. Um, I can definitely pull on it a lot, so you know they aren't gonna break it. But this will kind of give them like a second floor in the tank, which will be pretty cool. So I'm just gonna tie these a little tighter and um, start getting the other stuff in. All right, now the next thing I wanna do is go ahead and get this plant in here. So I'm thinking this one will probably be like somewhere over this, and then the other one will be in the other corner because um, they definitely need room to run around. So let's go ahead and get the plants in here. <laughs> God, you guys, like I only have, I only have a few things in here, but this tank looks so nice. So I'm gonna go ahead, set up the rest of the stuff, and then we're gonna go ahead and do some B-roll, obviously, of everything, and just kind of do like a little overview of it. So let's do that. This thing looks absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and roll the. All right guys, so I actually didn't end up using this, although it is one of my favorite things. I may end up using it at some other point in the tank, but it is a little bit too tall. I also didn't use this because I don't want to overcrowd the tank because I also have to get a few more things like I mentioned. But other than that, I used everything else and it looks absolutely amazing. So I have the two large artificial plants. I have net. Now these plants may get like moved around and stuff. I may not keep them like that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to keep them, but something like that, you know, make the hermit crabs feel safe and secure. I also have the two water bowls, which I'll probably end up putting next to each other but I still have to get the food bowl uh, which will be larger than the water bowls. Then I also have these two shells here. I'm gonna get more shells for them and I also need to get a hide 
at least one hide for them in here because that's definitely an essential for hermit crabs is having hides and stuff because when they molt, they are very vulnerable and they also have a smell that kind of smells like a tasty treat to the other hermit crabs in the tank. So they definitely need some hides. They need to feel safe and secure. If you guys have any questions on hermit crabs, you can ask me in the comments below because I did a ton of research on these guys. But make sure you guys stay tuned for the video where I buy the hermit crabs for this tank. I will be doing that in the next week because I'm going to be on vacation starting tomorrow. So in the next few days, I will be buying the hermit crabs and doing several videos with them. They're going to be really fun, really interesting. Plenty of videos to come with the hermit crabs. I will need some names for the hermit crabs as well, but I will go ahead and do that when I actually buy the hermit crabs. So we can see what they look like, their personalities, kind of get a gist of the hermit crabs themselves, and then we can go ahead and name them. So like I said, stay tuned for that video where I buy the hermit crabs and more hermit crab videos. If you want more hermit crab videos, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like. But other than that, I gotta get going because I have a lot of stuff to do because I'm leaving in the morning and I haven't done any of it. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching it. Make sure you guys hit that subs, no. Make sure you guys turn on that post notification bell, hit that subscribe button, comment down below, drop a like, and uh, I will see you guys in a few days. It's gonna be a beach video. It's gonna be pretty fun. I haven't filmed it yet, obviously, but I have a good feeling about this one. I just stabbed myself in the neck. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now you know how to set up a hermit crab tank properly, and I will see you guys in two days, like I said. So, bye.